The time is here and we finally got our very own uniquely designed keyboard. This is a custom keyboard I designed over at WSD to get all the features I wanted using their services. You can customize your own keyboard just like I did right on the website. There are endless customizations when it comes to the appearance, components, and the model that you can choose without the hassle of putting it all together yourself. I'll go into further details at the end of the video, showing you a quick tutorial of all the steps on creating your own uniquely designed keyboard. First, let's talk about what we get when our keyboard arrives. You get your purchase nicely compacted in this box with the brand's logo and color scheme. Depending which model size you choose will come differently. Of course you can already tell, but I chose the 60% model. When open, you'll have your keyboard and your accessories. This includes the manual, a key puller, and lastly, your USB cable attachment. At first glance, the keyboard really stands out in terms of all the color shades. I went with a black, red, and gray design since I wanted to try something different. I had the modifiers as dark gray, the escape spacebar and enter key as red, the top numeric portions as gray, and lastly, the main interface as light gray. I didn't go too crazy with my own customizations aside from the spacebar, I designed the image myself with my signature included in the middle for that final finish. Let's start getting into the components. The keyboard is comprised of Vortex Gears Poker 3, which is then customized into your choice of design to make it unique to you. The housing is made out of steel and let me tell you this, this thing is heavy. You can see that it's low profile giving it the aesthetic look to fully display your switches and keycaps. This makes it easier to clean the dust and particles in your keyboard without having to remove your keycaps. Moving on to the back, we have 4 rubber stops to keep your keyboard from slipping and sliding. This is not your generic rubber stops that are bulky, it's nice and flat to keep the dynamics of the low profile feature which also feels nice when you brush your fingers on them. The connection for the keyboard is micro USB 2 which is plug and play as soon as it's connected. The wiring sucks being made completely of rubber, I suggest using your own custom cable like this one right here, or you can choose one of the braided cables provided by WAS on your website. Moving on to the keycaps, these are OEM profile with the materials made out of ABS. You may notice that there's a lot of shining glare when the light is reflected. When it comes to the durability, it can be easily damaged if you're not careful. Small scratches or oils from your fingers can wear down the material over time, causing your legends to fade. Especially if you go with a custom design on your keycaps, you'll have to be more cautious to not ruin the printing. There's an extra layer protective coating just in case. The switches that are included are your standard cherry profiles. When I say standard, I'm referring to the common selections like red, blues, browns, and blacks. However, there are green additions, but that's an exception. There are no choices for other switches for different brands like Gatorons and Kales, so you're limited to your options. In this case, I went with brown switches for that tactile feel, since I prefer to use them for productivity and casual purposes with a little bit of gaming on the side. Here's an example of what they sound like. Lastly, we're going to go over the special features of this keyboard. For those that are going to ask, I want to make it clear that there are no backlit RGB on this specific keyboard. If you check out their other models, you can get one designed with that included. The first feature uses N key rollover, so if you were to press keys at the same time, they would all register individually. If your keys are pressed down while you press another key, they both would still register. Next, you have your configuration of dip switches on the back of the keyboard, where you can cycle to three different output modes, QWERTY, Dvorak, and Colmac. Finally, you have your multimedia shortcuts for when you're listening to music. You can freely play, stop, change the song, or control the volume. I don't want to go into specific details for each feature because it would take too long, and that is why we have a manual that's included where you can learn how to do all of that yourself. If you're curious as to how you can customize your own keyboard to make it unique to you, I'll provide a quick tutorial on how you can do that. Head over to this website and choose the model of the keyboard that you want. You have your choice of a full size, TKL, or 60% build. Next, choose your options of the layout that you want, ANSI or ESO. 
Once you select your choice, move over to the right side of the website and choose your switches. You have the choice if you want to spend extra to include sound dampeners. Next, choose your text color. You can opt for the default of black or white, or you can choose a custom color yourself using the hex picker. If you want different colors for different keycaps, make sure to include that in the comment section so your builder knows. Now scroll down and choose the color of your keycaps. You have a choice of 21 different colors where you can freely customize and choose what color goes where. Be creative and find something that would fit your style. Moving on to the alphanumeric layout, you can style this to what you want from blank to modern, large font like myself, Mac, and different languages. There are so many choices to choose from, find whatever works for you. After that, you have your selection of function keys to have them centered, blank, or just symbols. For users that want to get creative and customize your own keycaps of images, I would recommend to check out the video done by the Wigan. He does a great job at explaining everything in a step-by-step -step process, and you can follow his format to get an idea of what you want for your own image design on your keyboard. Another option is to check out the Maker Design section on Watt's website to get a reference of what other users have created. Or if you're interested in their own creations for your build, you can purchase those too. That'll be it for this video. If you're interested in creating your own unique design for your keyboard, I would definitely recommend to check out Was to get your custom build done today. Share some ideas in the comments below on how you want your design for your build, or anything you want to see for the future videos. You can pledge on Patreon to support me, or get involved with the community by joining our Discord. Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one.